uh, we're Heaven's Jubilee, and we just want to take a minute to say how much that we appreciate uh, WLJC, and uh, you know for what all that they've done for us and uh, for the people that they help. So many people can't get out because they're bed fast, and this is the only church that people has. And you know, we run into a lot of people sometimes and they just tell us how much that they love WLJC and they don't know what they would do without it. So many people doesn't have anybody to pray with them. And these phone lines with Dottie and everybody, that's the only people, only family that they have to pray with them. So, you know, if you can, just take a, a minute or two and uh, not only send your support, but pray for uh, Sister Margaret and all of them here at WLJC. And I tell you, if you'll be a blessing to them, I sure believe that God will be a blessing to you. Thank you. Good evening and welcome to the service tonight. We really uh, hope you will stay with us. We're starting out uh, another a week of, uh, of being able to spread the good news. Now, you know, uh, if, you, if you live anywhere in the country, it doesn't take you long to, uh, uh, to find bad news. Uh, you can hear all sorts of bad news in five minutes' time, or you can read that much. It's just one bad uh, murder, robbery, or whatever. But, you know, uh, we know we're living in a world that's been cursed by God because of sin. We know that Satan is r ruling in a lot of people's hearts today. That's why that all these things happen is because of what, because they're serving him. But we come to each night and uh, to tell you there is a better way. There is a way of peace and victory and joy and, and that you can have a way out. You don't have to live in such unhappiness and defeat because the Lord has made a way for us. And uh, he's the one that gives you peace. He's the one that gives you victory when, when uh, trials come. He's the one that will give you sustaining grace when death comes. He will sustain his child. He will keep you uh, in a good frame of mind because your loved one is safely with the Lord now. And so there's uh, so much to be thankful for. And that's why this psalm that I'm going to read, Psalms 105, it is a psalm of praise for um, who the Lord is says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Call upon His name. Make known the, His deeds among the people. Sing unto Him. Sing psalms unto Him. Talk ye of all of His wondrous works. When the Lord does something for you, it's just too hard to keep it to yourself. Glory ye in His holy name. Let the heart of them rejoice that seek the Lord. Seek the Lord and His strength. Seek His face evermore. Remember his marvelous works that he hath done, his wonders and the judgment of his mouth. O ye seed of Abraham, his servant, ye children of Jacob, his chosen. He is the, the Lord our God. His judgments are in the earth. He hath remembered his covenant forever, the word which he uh, commanded to a thousand generations which covenant he made with Abraham and his oath unto Isaac. Psalms 105, 1 through the ninth verse, and there's many more good verses. It's 45 verses in that psalm, and but we'll not have time for that. But anyway, uh, it's talking about to give thanks unto the Lord. And uh, you know when someone in your family or your friends does something for you, it's real easy to say, well, thank you. I appreciate that. Well, how much more should we thank the Lord when he keeps, us, 
gets us out of bed of the morning. He gives us health and strength to work and go about our, our daily life and blesses and undertakes uh, so many ways, so many times. And uh, But, you know, you have to be in tune with him to appreciate this. You know, unsaved people, they don't usually uh, appreciate just always hearing about the Lord because uh, uh, we've... Uh, We've seen that happen when when you hear the gospel constantly. You will either get better or you will go from the Lord. So tonight we hope that the word has will encourage you. The singing will bless you and encourage you. And that you will draw closer to him. Because uh, what if this should be your time to go? We're all going. That's a known fact. Everybody's going to die. It's appointed unto man once to die, and after that the judgment. And so it, if, you're, if you have any beings about you at all, you should realize, well, hey, the, a wreck might get me today, a heart attack or something else. We don't know uh, when our time's going to come, but we can know how to be ready. And then, as we often say, then we'll be glad we've, that we have known Jesus and live for him. So let's pray. We have some requests already in, and we we have more that, of course, we'll be taking care of a little later. But uh, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and we praise you as the Scripture says. We praise you for salvation. We thank you, Lord, that we're still in a land that we can proclaim your gospel and tell, uh, share the good news that regardless of what kind of lifestyle people's living that God still loves them. He does. He's not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. And so, Father, tonight, let this be evident in this service. Lord, let us see souls saved and healed, delivered, or whatever they need. Encouragement, Father, for those that have lost loved ones. Bless their hearts. Help them feel your presence. Bless their singers, Lord. Strengthen them. Touch their bodies, make them well. And the phone operators uh, also need your help. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, tonight we're real happy to once again have our friends of uh, many years, uh, the Murphy family from down at Corbin, and they do have CDs for sale, 606-515-1670 is the phone number to call them about their tapes or CDs and um, and then they'll also tell you where they're going to be singing so you uh, pray for them as they sing uh, Russell's had, gone, had some more sickness uh, lately but um, he thought the Lord was taking him home he said and I jokingly said well now he remembered you had appointment here <laughs> Russell you needed to come so he he spared him over and uh, anyway I know we was really before service we were just praising the Lord for all the miracles that we have seen happen in this family Russell could tell you what a miracle it is for these twin daughters of his to even be here and they are been singing since they were so tiny they could hardly hold a guitar up but they they love the Lord. They've written some good songs, and they're all ready to go. So let's welcome the Murphy family from Corbin, Kentucky. I'm going to a place so fast. And we no no
place to go to, don't we? One of these days we're going to leave this old world and, and leave all the troubles behind. And like Sister Margaret was talking about, you know, you can go, turn your head any direction and you can hear all kinds of bad news. But I think that it's time we need to hear some good news. It's time that we need something good in our hearts, something good to give us another hope and another chance to go on for the Lord another day. And, and I truly thank God for us just being here tonight. Uh, Sister Margaret was telling you, had a few more problems. They had to fly me out to Lexington, had a stroke, some mini strokes, and um, had some problems. But the good Lord knew we were needed here, I guess, and he spared me for another day. And, and I just truly thank him for that. I really do. Thank God for everything that he does. And, and I'm going to ask Tiffany to sing this song, um, um, Christians Arise or something like that, Saints Arise or... Until I hear from heaven. Oh, yeah, that one. <laughs> but anyway, love the Lord tonight and thank him for everything he does. Y'all pray for us. <laughs> to do and I believe we need to pray until we hear from heaven and I believe whenever we hear from heaven it'll not just be a well okay I'll get to you later or or maybe I'll think of it in a little bit but I believe God answers in a moment in a twinkling of an eye 
Sometimes we wonder why it takes so long to get through one storm, but always at the end of the storm, there's always a blessing. And I've always said the bigger the, the valley, the bigger the trial, the bigger the blessing. Honey, the Lord's got something good for you if you just hold on. And I know that he's here, and I know that he's, he's touching each and every heart of someone that's out there in need. So tonight, if you need a touch from the Lord, you just start calling upon his name. And I know he'll be there. He'll make a way where there seemeth to be none. And you know, family and friends will let you down, and people will turn their back on you, but Jesus will never let you down. I, I wrote this song just a few months ago, and, and we'll, we'll try it. And, Lord, he'll be there with us when he got through it all. Truly love the Lord tonight and thank him for everything that he does. And Steph, if you would, would you sing the <laughs> Hold Me While I Cry? 
I, you know, I, I know today that a lot of people are hurting. You know, we see more and more trials that people are going through, and and it seems like cancer, buddy, is is just going rapid. Just every more where you turn, you hear people, you know, got this cancer, that cancer, and was listening to a good friend of mine preach last night, and he said, you know, the Lord took 39 stripes on his back for our healings, and my friend, he said that there was, I think, 39 different kinds of cancer and I thought well you know the Lord took a stripe for every one of them and the Lord took a stripe for every sickness that man can even dream up but I know God is a healer and a deliverer and he brought me through I believe he can bring anybody through and buddy I tell you I got a little scared on that helicopter ride up to Lexington but the Lord I I just made me just closer to the Lord (laughs) but truly love the Lord tonight and thank him and but you know like I was saying if you're hurting tonight And if you're going through that trial, listen, the tears are a language that God understands. He said he is nigh unto them of a broken heart. And my friend tonight, if you're broken, you're gone as far as you can go, done all you know to do, there's only one other place to turn, and that's to Jesus. And he'll always be there. He'll never leave you nor forsake you. He'll always be there with you through thick and thin and through it all. But I'm going to ask her to sing this song. Just just really feel led. You know, I, I kind of feel like that there's someone that's, that's just really crying out to the Lord right now. And, and I know that he's hearing that prayer. So you just hang on. And, and I want to ask her to sing that song. And, and y'all go ahead. And I, I really appreciate the Lord tonight. Glory to God. Green. 
those tears start to flow the Lord knows exactly what you need he said I know what you have need of even before you ask but he said ask and you shall receive seek and you'll find knock and the door will be open unto you my friend he's here and I believe he's here in our midst he said where two or three are gathered together in my name I'm one in the midst and and I know tonight that he's here with us because there's well there's more than two or three of us here and I know God's in the midst tonight, but I want Tiffany to sing that song, Praise His Name. And, and you know, that's the only way you can come out of that valley. That's the only way you can come up from the, the lowest of the lowest. <laughs> Whenever you're below the bottom, the only way you can come out is just start to praise His name. And I want her to sing that song if you do that, Tiff. I normally don't talk over the television, but I want to dedicate this song to my mother-in-law and my father-in-law. When you're up against the wall And your mountain seems so tall And you realize that life's not always fair You can run away and hide Let the old man decide You can change Just 
there isn't he? he'll never let us down he'll always make a way where there seemeth to be none truly love the lord we got a couple of more songs to do and and got a good friend here with us tonight brother glenn moses and he'll be up and sing one for us in a little bit but you know i i truly thank god for everything that he does and maybe we need to pick up the speed just a little bit tiff let's let's do that one do you know what train you're riding <laughs> Do you know which train you'll be riding? Do you know which train you'll be on? There's a long black train bound for nowhere. But the train I'm on is bound for home. That long black train is a devil. And you're stealing men's souls every day. One day it'll all fade away Do you know which train you'll be riding? Do you know which train you'll be on? There's a long black train bound for nowhere But the train I'm on This train I'm on is bound for glory. Some call it that sweet beauty land, but there's peace and love everlasting. And Jesus will be the light of that land. Do you know which train you'll be riding? Hey, do you know which train you'll be on? train I'm on is bound for home. Now the choice is yours for the making. Time's running out, can't you see? Come and get your ticket for glory. And come ride this train with me. Do you know which train you'll be riding? Do you know which train you'll be home? There's a long black train bound for nowhere. But the train I'm on is bound for home. Now the choice is yours for the making. Time's running out, can't you see? Come and get your ticket for glory. Come ride this train with me. Do you know which train you'll be riding? Do you know which train you'll be on? There's a long black train bound for nowhere. But the train I'm on is bound for home. Yeah, the train I'm on is bound for home. Truly love the Lord. You got one, Steph? <laughs> okay, we'll do that one. Uh, no, <laughs> um, do that one, uh, Heaven Be Worth the Journey, Tiff.
Well, sometimes I get so weary traveling this old road. I cry, Lord, please come and help me bear this heavy load. But in the stillness of the night, he comes.
Amen. Amen. Truly love the Lord. Really thank the Lord for everything he does. And we'll, we'll, we'll do one more and catch my breath. <laughs> thank you, Lord. But truly love the Lord tonight and thank him for everything that he does. Glory to God. Now some seek for wealth and do some look for pain. I look for Jesus and with him I reign. I'm just a pilgrim here, soon I'll be gone. Nothing can hold me here, I'm heading home. I swear now nothing can hold me here, I'm heading home. It sounds when they lay my body in that cold, cold ground. You don't have to cry for me, don't sing no sad song. Nothing can hold me here, I'm heading home. I said, now nothing can hold me here, I'm heading home. Heavenly gates are near, it won't be long until I'm walking on streets of gold and I'm singing. So now nothing can hold me here. I'm heading home. Heavenly gates are near. It won't be long until I'm walking on streets of gold and I'm singing around God's throne. Nothing can hold me here. I'm heading home. Thank you, Lord. All right, thank you so much. Uh, the Murphy family from Corbin, Kentucky, we will let them take a break since Russell has been in the hospital recently and doesn't have his full strength back, but he's doing really well to be able to sing, sing like that after being in the hospital. They do have CDs, and if you'd like to uh, contact them, 606-515-1670. Uh, and they'll be glad to hear from you. They're going to take a... A break and they'll be back though for with a lot more good songs and uh, so uh, well this uh, this week I had uh, some of my family to come in and visit and I had several of uh, the grandkids that was supposed to be here and only one shows up so Jalen tell us where where are the others um, they went to go get some goats they went to get goats okay <laughs> All right, so now this is, uh, uh, you want to tell your name? Jalen Brooke Durbin. And how old are you now, Jalen? I'm 12. You're 12? Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and what grade are you going to be in? Seventh. Seventh grade. So you've been in the pool a lot this summer, haven't you? Mm -hmm. You've gotten a little bit of a tan, and uh, so you're going to be in the seventh grade. So what do you... Uh, are you excited about school or are you dreading it? I'm kind of excited. Good. Well, you make good grades and you make a lot of friends. You have lots of friends, don't you? They, uh, this girl's got more friends than, than most of us put together. So she, uh, she's a real sweet girl. And uh, this is, uh, you want to tell your mom and dad's name? Um, Lena Durbin and James Durbin. You did remember who they are, didn't you? <laughs> okay. And uh, we thought uh, your little brother was going to be here, but he's going to help catch okay. some goats. Okay. Well, we'll we'll catch them at another time. Over the years, you uh, several years back, you saw uh, uh, some of the grandchildren on the program here. At one time, we had I had all of my family, my all my children, and. and in-laws and outlaws and everybody here grandkids but that uh we grew so much Jalen, we couldn't get them on the stage anymore so we they they everybody's so scattered now they don't get home all of them does not get home very often at the same time so um so 
So what do you uh, what do you like best about school, Taylor? Um, meeting new people. Mm -hmm. Tell them what happened last year at school. What did you get saved? Oh, I got saved. And you're going to school where? CCA, Carter Christian Academy. Okay, and you're going to be in the seventh grade. Mm -hmm. And so they do have, uh, do they have Bible uh, studies every day? Um, we have them on Wednesdays. Wednesday, mm -hmm. okay. And so you'd been talking about getting, accepting the Lord for a long time, hadn't you? Mm -hmm. And then one day, then one day she prayed and asked the Lord to come into her heart. And she called me and told me, didn't mm -hmm. you? Mm -hmm. So you knew I'd be happy about that. Jalen's a good girl. She really works hard. She, uh, you even help your papa on the, in the farming, don't you? Sometimes. Sometimes. And well, what about gathering the eggs and mm -hmm. how many chickens does your papa have now? Um, a lot. <laughs> and they're all kinds and colors, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Well. Um, so you're going to be in the seventh grade, and uh, so what do you want to be when you finish school? What what vocation are you going to go in? Do you know yet? Mm -mm. Okay. Well, you got a day or two to think about it. All right. This is my great granddaughter, Jalen Jalen Brooke. We don't use your middle name very often. I about forgot it. All right, we have some fun. Uh, we're glad to have Jalen and her mommy and brother and sister uh, to visit a little bit. They're trying to get in one last little trip before school starts. It it's, doesn't seem real that school just gotten out, and now they're turning around trying to get things ready to go again. All right, from the phones, Ralph and Lucille from Somerset, they love Brother uh, Russell, and they want him. They want Brother Russell to pray for both of them, and they, they love me. So, uh, some nice people there, <clears throat> and we are good to hear from them. All right, from Knox County, a mother wanted uh, the song "He Touched Me." Well, I'm not sure what they're going to sing, but uh, they'll whatever songs they do choose will be good. A friend has called for Conley, said he has blood clots and COPD. A grandmother has called for a granddaughter from Garrett County. A lady and her family, they're having physical problems. From Carlisle, a uh, family has lost a loved one, and there's a death there, and they need prayer. A man from uh, uh, that has called about an ear ache or ear problem. I'm not sure what that is. From Owsley County, a lady uh, having uh, uh, some infection in her body. From Virginia, the state of Virginia, for a nephew, Mark, that's uh, in the hospital with leukemia. Wanda has called for a granddaughter from Russell County. Now, if you remember, we, we prayed for this uh, granddaughter that was having heart surgery. Well, she, the grandmother's called back and said uh, things went really well and she was in church on Sunday. Isn't that good? Linda from Laurel County uh, is, uh, asked prayer for someone that's having panic attacks. Uh, Sylvia having uh, cancer treatments in Madison County. Barbara having trouble breathing. And also uh, there's uh, someone going for a... A court case tomorrow from Russell County, lady with a lot of infection and pain. Uh, Maxie has called for Charles that's been in an accident. A mother has called for Jean Ann that needs a healing. Phyllis uh, for the family from from Clay County it says, and uh, uh, Curtis from Scott County is having his fifth uh, back surgery. Uh, this week and really needs prayer. Uh, Brother Harlan Sexton has called for his wife Amanda having uh, back spasms and in a lot of pain tonight. And here's one for a daughter that's having surgery tomorrow. Well, whenever uh, the Murphy family is rested and they want to come back, that uh, uh, 
uh, will be fine. We're trying to give them a little break here, so uh, uh, give them a little rest. Well, Jalen, it's been really good to have you come and see me, and uh, <clears throat> and so you're anxious for school. Do you think all your your other sisters and brother are they happy about school? <laughs> I didn't think so. <laughs> They, but you like to learn new stuff, don't you? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'm sure you'll do good. Well, um, <clears throat> Russell, here's one that will really encourage you in your singing and so forth. Uh, this lady has called and has accepted the Lord as her personal Savior. She has gotten saved. So this is right in the middle of the service. So that, isn't that good? So uh, we are... That good singing really makes people want more of the Lord. All right, let's go back to the Murphy family from Corbin, Kentucky. They do have CDs. Be sure and order some at 606-515-1670. Praise the Lord, Sister Margaret. I, I tell you what, now that really makes my day. When you know someone's give their heart to the Lord, that, that just does it right there. It puts the icing on the cake. <laughs> but um, truly love the Lord like we say and and we're going to try to do those requests that uh, was requested of us. And I was telling you about a good friend of mine, Brother Glenn Moses from down in Williamsburg. He's, he's come with us tonight, and we've asked him to do this song. The girls kind of like this song, and, and we're just uh, thanking God for everything that he does. But this is Brother Glenn Moses, and we'll let him do this song for us, okay? Thank you, brother. Glad to be here. Thank the, thank the Lord for keeping us safe to get up here. I thank you most of all for saving me. There are some people say you cannot tell whether we are saved or whether all is well. Say they only can hope and trust that it is so. I was there when it happened, and I guess I ought to know. Yeah, I know when Jesus saved me, very moment he forgave me. Took away my heavy burden, and he gave me peace within. Satan can't make me doubt it, real and I'm going to shout it. I was there when it happened, and I guess I ought to know. I don't care who tells me salvation is not real. Though the world may argue that we cannot feel a heavy burden to lift it, and the vile sins go. I was there when it happened, and I guess I ought to know. Yeah, I know when Jesus saved me, every moment he forgave me. Took away my heavy burden, he gave me peace within. Satan can't make me doubt it, real and I'm gonna shout it. I was there when it happened, and I guess I ought to know. Yeah, I was there when it happened, and I guess I ought to know. All right, thanks again. I was there when it happened. Was you there when it happened? <laughs> you had to be, wouldn't you? <laughs> All right, truly love the Lord, and we'll we'll do this song right here. I think someone requested it to, for us to sing this, so we'll try this right here, and y'all just pray for us, and you know, we thank God for everything that he does, and, and he's done a lot. Buddy, I could stand up here all night and tell you what things have happened for us and to us and, <laughs> and everything, buddy. It just seems like there's been one thing right after another, but I've learned if you're doing something good for the Lord, the devil's going to fight you every step of the way. And every time that he does something to you, the Lord always blesses you that much more. And the only thing that I could ever ask the Lord to do for me would be just, Lord, save one more soul. 
Lord, just give me one more soul for the kingdom and, and just let me make it home and that, that's all I need. Glory to God. I love my children. I, I, I very seldom introduce, introduce them anymore because I just take it for granted that everybody knows them. <laughs> but we've had some people ask me, well, who's playing the piano and who's playing the bass? And, of course, you all know I'm playing the guitar. So there you go. I introduced them. Now, <laughs> now over on the piano is my daughter Tiffany. She's been playing the piano since she was six years old. I had went away for a, a few nights meeting and come home one night and they said, Daddy, we're going to sing you a song. And I said, all right, start singing. And I would bought them this little old toy keyboard thing for Christmas one year. And, and buddy, they started singing and, and she was changing chords. And I thought, goodness, at six years old, I got me a band. <laughs> and sure enough, buddy, they, they won some trophies and, and talent shows at school and stuff. And now Stephanie, she started playing the bass guitar when she was nine. And I thought, well, you know, if, if she's got any talent, it'll show up. And the bass that she started on only had two strings on it. So I thought, well, we'll see what we got here. And the first song, she nailed it. And I thought, yeah, buddy, I've got me a real band right here. And I guess what, for 18, not, well, 20 years, we've been playing music together at churches and going all and down the roads and everywhere. And in the midst of the storm or in the midst of the valley, when I'm at my lowest point, honey, that's when the Lord will use these two to bring me back up out of the valley. And they've been a blessing for me. And this is Tiffany and Stephanie. They're, they're Huttons now. And... But they used to be Murphys. I'm going to try to work on that, getting them back as Murphys. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> but anyway, I'm Russell Murphy, and together we make up the Murphy family, and we're just trying to get closer to the Lord and, and to just get something done for him and to win one more soul for the Lord. So uh, we'll try to do this song right here, and, and I, I hope I can remember it. It's been a long time since I've sung this song, but y'all pray for me. Shackled by a head, a burden. I was near the Lord of guilt and shame. He 
Truly love the Lord. I, I, I was kind of getting into that one. I could feel the spirit on that one. Glory to God. Truly love the Lord. Y'all pray for us. Glory to God.
be right on time every time doesn't matter buddy what the situation is sister margaret what we're going through i know sometimes it feels like that we we don't have a friend in the world and i know that a lot of elderly people they're by themselves they're alone and and they feel like that all hope is gone and and sometimes they would just like to go on and be with the lord and and that would be a great thing but, you know, the Lord's got a, a reason and a plan for everything. And, and you know, we think sometimes, well, Lord, why, why is this happening or that happening? Well, like I said, he's got a plan for it all. He said there's a time and a place for everything under the sun. There's a time to sow and a time not to sow. And there's a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. I guess I pretty much said that two different ways. But, you know, God's got a plan for everything in our lives. And I had a request to uh, sing this song. And a lady called me out of Lexington. And she said, you just sang the song. And, and I know it's meant for me. So I'm going to sing this song for you, sis. And I won't give out your name. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, truly love the Lord tonight. Glory to God. Just one step. Now sin will take you farther than you want to go. And sin will keep you longer than you want to stay. Sin will give you more pain than you can bear. But just one step will take you far away from there. Just one step. Father's house. Just one step will take away all of your pain. With outstretched arms, He's waiting there to comfort you. the prodigal son I'd wandered from my father's house and eating with the swine oh I felt so much shame but I remember what he said
I know we always do one last song, <laughs> and I know that we, uh, oh, okay, um, one more, all right. We'll do this next song for Brother Gavin. He's uh, Brother Glenn's uh, son there, and uh, and one for Sister Kathy, and all of them down at Williamsburg, and, and, you know, just truly love the Lord for everything that he does. Glory to God. Just truly love the Lord. they saved that one to the last because <laughs> that takes all their all their strength but uh, that's uh, they're doing a great job and we're so glad the Lord brought th uh, Russell through another uh, a couple of more strokes and so forth and a lot of complication <coughs> complications but you know anyway the devil can uh, try to hold us down uh, then um, he will to try to hinder us doing what what we can for the Lord. And uh, did you break your glasses? Now I got them right. <laughs> uh, well, sometimes people. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, I was going to give you this one to just read the first name if you want to, because uh, and uh, what it's about. Oh, okay. Praise the Lord. Uh, was that Taylor? Mm -hmm. Tyler? Taylor. Taylor, okay. But Taylor Thomas of Corbin said uh, uh, that give his heart to the Lord's mm -hmm. salvation. Praise the Lord. This is great. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, it's worth every step and oh, every mile yes. we come to get over here. Yes. It surely is. I tell you so what, that's, that's wonderful. <laughs> that's two, two tonight. Two for tonight. Yes. Amen. Well, that really makes the devil mad, don't it? <laughs> yeah, it does. He, he would not like that. But, no. Uh, but, you know, uh, w you know, the gospel, when it goes out in song mm -hmm. and in spoken word, it's powerful because oh, yes. it's, it's yeah. the word and he watches over his word to perform it. Oh, yeah. And when there's people yeah. that is uh, receptive, uh, receptive to the, uh, then they make the decision. Uh-huh. Um, well, here's Beulah from uh, Laurel County. He's having back problems, can hardly walk. Mm. Um, and here's a lady that uh, has met a good man, she said, and she wants everything to work out there. Well, mm. I hope you're doing some praying there, yeah. lady. Um, Mount Vernon, uh, a sister, needs a job uh, from Lincoln County. Nerves are bad. A great-granddaughter, leg problems and bars on her legs, and she needs healing. Another a lady with bronchitis, Miss Loudon from Jasmine County. She wants Dr. Jesus to heal her body, and she's amen. dependent on him. Yes, uh, for re, uh, Reaver, um, or re, e, the ER, uh, from uh, a friend is called in, said very ill, and oh, uh, another lady with a lot of problems. But mm -hmm. then uh, we definitely want to remember... Uh, Brother Harlan Sexton, you know him, don't oh, you? Yeah, yeah. And his wife is uh, in severe pain, mm -hmm. uh, back spasms tonight. So, yes. so uh, I'm going to. Uh, now Russell's had a lot of healing in his life and oh, his yes. daughter's lives, and so we're going to ask him to anoint uh, right there's the oh, oil, right. and uh, he's uh, he's going to anoint these, and uh, and then here is some more. We have. Uh, this is from Paris for a daughter that's uh, having a lot of a lot of issues, and uh, the family needs prayer for her. Someone uh, from McDowell, Kentucky, needs prayer also. Here's a praise report. This lady uh, has been calling us from Oak Ridge, Tennessee, for a while, but she says her brother-in-law. Uh, Harless Smith has come. Came home Wednesday. Praise the Lord. God is working miracles in him. He still still has a long way to go. Physical, vocational, and speech therapy ahead of him. But God is so good and so faithful. God is truly blessed. Performed miracles and heard all the prayers of his people. Yes. And uh, so anyway, they they want to say thanks to all of you that helped pray for him because they've been calling and telling us what a bad shape he was in. Yeah. But. Sister okay. Margaret, there yes. was a lady the last time that we were here that called for a CD that we had, and she lives, I think it was Savannah, Missouri, oh. and they was picking us up out there, and buddy, I tell you, it, it was just a, a praise just to hear someone mm -hmm. that far away that had heard us on the program. Yes. And, you know, it, it's not a very tough thing to ask the Lord into your life. The mm -hmm. Bible says if we would just confess with our mouth Lord Jesus and believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, we shall be saved. And it's just a, a simple little prayer that we just have to pray and ask the Lord to come into our lives and, and everything changes from then on. It, it makes, just gets yes, better. It makes a new person out of <laughs> you. Yes, it sure does. Now some of those habits that you had formed already, now it might take a while uh, for you yeah. to work on them. <laughs> now will. sometimes he... he, he, he you're able to turn loose of them, and he, uh, we've heard people over and over say, well, you know, they never drank another drop, they didn't smoke no more, they, mm -hmm. all the uh, things that was harming their body, mm -hmm. and, the, and God uh, enabled them to break it. But sometimes, you know, it takes you, you choosing to let go of that. Yes. yes. And so, uh, but decisions for the Lord is so wonderful. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, what else would you like to share before you pray for those. Okay, I just like what the Lord done for me when I had that stroke, you know, I think they said that I had maybe three or four mini strokes. I was, you know, being kindly out of it. I didn't really know what was going on. They were telling me later what was happening. And you know, we can be out of our mind not knowing a thing, but God's still in control. Oh, yeah. And His healing power is so miraculous that we can't really comprehend just what he can do for us. The carnal mind can only believe so much, but 
He is above and beyond anything that we can comprehend. He can, he can touch you in the middle of the storm. He can touch you, buddy, when everything has gone wrong, mm -hmm. when families turn their back on you, when, when all hope is gone. That's when God likes to move. Yes. That's when He likes to come on the scene and say, okay, when everything else has failed, I'm greater than any problem in your life, and He can change everything and make it all better. And, you know, a lot of people, they, they just can't believe that. They think, well, how can a God so great do these things? It, he's the creator of the universe. Yeah. So He's got all power in heaven and earth. Mm -hmm. All we have to do is believe in that power. All we yes. got to do is trust in Him, and, and He's able to answer every prayer request that is ever turned in. He said, all we have to do is believe. And if we believe, that's the key to it all. We, we've got to believe that He's able to do those things of which we ask. And if He can save our soul, we ought to be able to trust Him with our healing, with our, our finances, with mm -hmm. everything that we go through. If we can trust Him with all that, well, but we've got it made then. Yes. Everything will be yes. all right. <laughs> yes, Truly yes. love the Lord. I, I appreciate Him, Sister Margaret, for everything that He's done for me. And so many times He's touched my daughters whenever they would have seizures. I know Stephanie, she had a hundred and something seizures one day and they had to airlift her out to Knoxville, but that's when I think she was maybe nine, ten years old. Mm -hmm. And the doctors told me that, uh, you know, she might be brain dead or she might be this or that. But, you know, t still today, they're, they're still amazing me how that they can oh, yes, sing and play their music and, mm -hmm. and, and a lot of songs that they sing I don't know the chords to. I can't get a hold of them. And, and they'll look at me and say, Dad, it's this chord. And I'm like, well, you just go on without me. I'll catch up on the next one. <laughs> but the Lord has truly blessed me and my family abundantly with the, the talent and things that we have in our life. And I could never repay him. If I started today and, and, and just kept asking him, you know, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. If I, every breath I breathe and said, thank you, Lord, I could still never thank mm -hmm. him enough for what he's that's, done for me. That's right. And I, I'm truly trusting and believing God's going to move for each and yes. every one of these prayer yes. requests. Well, truly go ahead would. and lead us if you will. All right. Heavenly Father, Lord, as we come before you right now, Lord, we truly thank you and praise you, Lord, for everything that you do. Yes, Lord. And Lord, I know that you're looking down from the portals of heaven. And, and Lord, I know that you've heard each and every one of these prayer requests. Mm -hmm. And Lord, we've asked you, Lord, to just reach down your mighty hand. Lord, and each one of these people, Lord, that are in trouble, that are hurting. Lord, even the ones that couldn't get their requests turned in. Even the ones, God, that are in need and, and they, they can't get their requests to us. Lord, we're just believing you to even make a stand for them, Lord, and bring them through everything. God, we're asking it all in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. And Lord, you said in your word that if there was any sick among us, you know, let them call for the elders of the church and, and anointing them with oil and praying over them, then the prayer of faith shall raise them up. And Lord, we're just asking, Lord, that you do just that, that yeah. you'll raise them up above the storm, above their problems, mm -hmm. above their needs. Lord, everything that they have need of tonight, Lord, we're believing. And you said if there be any two on earth that will agree together, Lord, we're believing and we're yes, agreeing we together right yes, now in the yes. mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Lord, and we're believing that it shall be done. In Jesus' wonderful name we yes. pray. Amen yes. and amen. Amen. Very good. Now, to get a hold of the uh, tapes, CDs that they have, call 606-515-1670 and they'll tell you all about it. And amen. that's the Murphy family from Corbin, Kentucky. And... Uh, do you have a quick announcement anywhere you're going to be singing um, right in, uh, soon? Uh, we're going to be up in uh, Bledsoe. A good friend of mine, John Carter, is up at a church of the uh, believers up in Bledsoe, Kentucky. And we're going to be up there this week helping him. And I also want to say a hello to a good friend of mine down in uh, Tennessee. His name is Brother Kenny. Uh, He's helped me through a lot of things and prayed for me, so I wanted to make sure I got He listens to us on the Internet, oh, so uh, we thank him for tuning yes. us in. And, yeah. you know, there, there are so many people that will meet us in the store, and they'll say, Brother Murphy, and, and I've never seen him before in my <laughs> life. <laughs> I'm like, well, how you doing? But, uh, you know, they're, they're good friends and great friends, and, and we truly thank the Lord for all of our friends. And, you know, if I started naming names, goodness, we could be here all <laughs> night, couldn't we? <laughs> But yes. God knows each and every yes. one. He surely does. Yes, and uh, God's people does stick together. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, yes. Not as close as we sometimes as we'd like to see, but uh, uh -huh. 
but you know if we love him first well then it's going to be automatic that uh, you yes. that you will know who else belongs to him well it looks like our time is uh, up and uh, so from all of us here in the studio we want to say good night and god bless you WLJC programs, including the live WLJC chapel service, are brought to you through your contributions of support to Hour of Harvest Incorporated. All contributions made to WLJC are eligible for income tax deductions. Thanks to all who support us. Without you, our programming would not be possible. If you would like to join our mailing list to receive our free monthly newsletter, to keep you informed of what's happening at WLJC, along with our monthly guest list, give us a call at 606-464-3600 or write to us, WLJC, P.O. Box Y, Beattyville, Kentucky, 41311. Or if you would like to join our email list, log on to www.wljc.com and sign up today. It's so easy and it's free. See you.